You're looking live at Commonwealth Stadium in Edmonton, and there's the quarterback of the Calgary Stampeders, Marcus Crandall, about to lead the Stampeders against the Edmonton Eskimos, led by that man, Jason Maas. The Eskimos and Stampeders coming up next from Commonwealth Stadium. It's the Western Final, guys. This one here very much in the balance. Davis bouncing off Prechterfield, but caught behind the line. Ball came loose after the whistle. Even Danny McManus in on that play with a block on Brechterfield. But we want to go back and was Hamilton offside on this Take a look at these punt? guys right here. Look at them jump right there. Now they don't even get back. They think they're caught. They're guilty. They stop. They wait for the flag to be thrown. It's not thrown. Big break. And Chris, if the flag was thrown, it was an automatic first down. It was third and four. That would have given Winnipeg a fresh set of downs. Instead, the tie Cats now. Second and 11 from the 36. McManus looking downfield, incomplete. Intended for Andrew Grigg or Darren Flutie, but both well covered. Well, I was really impressed with the coverage of Marvin Coleman keeping Andrew Grigg to the outside, not allowing Andrew Grigg to come back into the field to make that play. So Osbaldiston tries to get them back within seven points. Aaron Flutie is the holder. And Osbaldiston is good. And now it's a 20 to 13 game. Just under eight minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter in Winnipeg. Use your Canadian Tire credit card when you run in. And you'll run out with 20% more Canadian Tire money on the card. It pays to use the card. So a touchdown separating these two teams. And if Hamilton goes on to lose today, they'll be haunted by the stuff at the goal line twice. A quarterback sneak rejected by the league leading defense of the Blue Bombers. Winnipeg takes over at their 35. Can Jones eat up some clock. Charles Roberts right side. In that pile, he runs for maybe three. Well, it's really imperative for Hamilton to try and stop Winnipeg and force Winnipeg to punt the football because with time becoming their enemy, they need as many kicks at the cat, if you would, on offense. Charles Roberts, top rookie in the East. He will face the outstanding middle linebacker of the BC Lions, Baron Simpson. Four finalists from Winnipeg this year. That happened a couple of times when Chris Wolby was involved and he was a lineman nominee. Here's Roberts with the catch. And enough to get the first down. Troy Saunders wrapped him up, but not before they move the chains. The thing you gotta like about Winnipeg does offensively is they're not sitting back, they're not playing conservative, they're really working their offense to put their most exciting and dangerous players in the open field. And that's all this is again, it's just a little swing pass, put it in number one's hands, because every time he touches the football, he makes good things happen. And, as, and the result of that one is another first down and more clock eaten away. Bombers were true to their word. They told Roberts he would be their feature man today. And here he is again. Check that Mills for five, maybe six.